Hi guys, I said, you know what? I'm gonna still be cooking uh, today. So let me take you along with me while I'm making this chicken meal that I'm just making up in my head. And actually some pork chops for my husband. He's coming home today and he requested if he could have some pork chops. So I said, why not, you know? We got them in the freezer. Why not? You know? So I'm going to do two meals. You know, one is a chicken meal and it's going to be yummy because that's probably what my mom and I will eat. And the other one's going to be a pork chop, some other pork chops for my husband. But before I get started, welcome to my channel. I am a new homesteader. I'm new on YouTube as well. So if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. That will help me out tremendously. I am the homesteader's life, and I just want to take you on this journey with me as I navigate my way through homesteading as a first-time homesteader, and you can watch me navigate my way through. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, enjoy my content, and if you do, like and subscribe that would help me out a lot so let's get to the video okay so i did make some i did make actually some infused garlic in another video i showed you how i made the infused garlic but right now i'm not needing that so what i'm going to do i marinated season not marinated i seasoned my meat last night and I put it in the refrigerator because I wanted just the seasons to get into it. So as I was looking at that, I was saying, okay, what am I gonna cook? How am I gonna present it? What am I gonna do? I didn't have a clue. So what I said is I'm gonna make something like I always do. So I'm gonna use my leftover tomato sauce. I got some uh, hot and spicy salsa. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of my homemade sauce. So I do everything, I try to do everything as much as I can homemade. So, so I'm just gonna take you along with this. I'm just gonna make up this recipe as I go along. And a lot of times this is what I do guys and it come out so well. So I'm gonna put some oil in this pot, and just at the bottom, put some oil in there. I'm gonna cut up some onion. Let me tell you, I'm navigating this with you because I don't know what it's gonna turn out to be, but I think it's gonna be okay. What's going on here? Onion, come on. Normally I like using uh, red onions, but that's okay. I can use this. I'm gonna use what I have on hand. Okay. Get that over there. Cut this up. And I know the flavors will be there, but I can't tell you what it's going to be. What what would I call this? I know it's gonna be a chicken meal. So I'm gonna leave the because I want the onion to have some kind of body to it. Put those in there first. I'm not gonna add too many onions only because my salsa has onions and I don't need a lot. But one thing I do want, I'm thinking I'm going for more of a Mediterranean. I'm not sure. So just ride with me guys, just ride with me. Just ride this road, just ride this ride with me. So let's put some garlic in there. Turn it down just a little bit. Okay. And one thing I do like to, I'm a very creative person. I like to create my own stuff. So that's something that I have enjoyed about myself. I don't actually follow a lot of recipes. <laughs> You're gonna see that in my videos. 
I like to shoot from the hip. I like to enjoy what I do. I don't like to follow a lot of, um, I go by taste and smell. Let's put it that way. My thing is taste and smell. And I move better with taste and smell. So, I move a lot better with taste and smell. And you will notice that about me. I move a lot better. So that's doing really well. I'm gonna add this chicken to it. I just want it to brown. smells good. I love, love, love. Guys, I love the smell of garlic. Our garlic smells good. I just want, I don't want the pieces to be like sitting on top of each other. Just trying to make some room in this pot. Okay. All right. And so, you can go along with me while I cook and navigate my busy schedule right now in Georgia, that's where I'm living. It is literally raining. So it gives me a good time because it is raining. It gives me a good time to actually get some inside work done. I'm gonna add just a little bit more onions. I'm not gonna add, well, let me finish this garlic head because I might as well just go ahead and finish it up. But I'm not gonna add no more garlic to it. So, let me throw this away and I'll be right back. Just these last two pieces of garlic in there. And guys, it smells so good. Honey, this smells good. I love the smell of garlic. And the garlic will get very soft and it get translucent and it gets so yum, yum, yummy. So this is just something that I'm creating with the chicken. I create a lot of my chicken uh, recipes myself because I, you know, I don't do, I don't do pork, but I do do chicken. I don't do beef, but I do do chicken and seafood. So it's good for me to learn how to create things on my own, so and that's what I do. So I thought I was gonna need some more onion, but I decided not to. Wash this hand, I got to open up this jar, because eventually I'm going to use it. Okay. Oh, this is going very well, but turn it up just a little bit because I just wanna brown it. I just want to brown it. I don't wanna cook it through because I want the sauces to actually get in there with it. So I just want to brown them. Okay. This is looking very, very good, guys. Because it's gonna cook all the way through. And then while that's going, I need to get some flour for these pork chops that I'm gonna be actually making as well. Those are, have been marinating too, so that's a good thing. I, I get both of the chicken, the chicken and the actual pork chops and allow them to marinate uh, last night so that I didn't have to worry about that part of it. Okay. Now, this is looking good, guys. It's looking really good. But what I'm gonna do with this chicken, I'm gonna let it get soft that the chicken actually comes off, come off shreds, because it's, it's boneless. As you've seen, it's boneless chicken, but it's going to cook for a little bit because I want it to be actually coming apart, okay? And then I'm gonna add uh, spinach in it at the end, so. I'm gonna go ahead and add the salsa. 
This is, this is going to be pretty spicy, okay? I've done that. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of actual tomato sauce that I have. Put that on in there. Now I can keep my jar, but I got to actually throw this away. that in there. That's done with. Add a little bit of water to loosen it up. And then I'm going to let this go and let this cook. Guys, it looks absolutely wonderful. I've got a couple of little bit more onions in there that I'm going to get off of there and shake that up a little bit more. Get that going. Okay, then I'm gonna add a little bit of my specialty sauce. This is a, I make all my sauces, I try to make all my sauces, but I do have a pre, a prepared one from the grocery store in my cupboard, just in case I haven't had time to do it. So, oh, okay. Mmm, guys, this smells so good. I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then I'm gonna turn it down and let it cook, slow cook. And that will be an excellent, 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 you know, you know what? Excellent meal. But I can actually add the spinach now because it's going to get going to marry in there. So I'm going to go ahead and add some spinach in there. Okay. And so it's just spinach off so we won't lose it. I can't wait to start growing my spinach guys. You just don't know. I got to share my seedlings with you. I have my back room in the back because we haven't decided on what uh, what we want to do with that back room. So right now it's used for my seedlings. So I cannot wait to show you. I can't wait to show you what I have. Go sit in your bed, Papa. Go now. I can't wait to show you. Go now. He loves to lick off my floor. <laughs> and I don't want him to, if I drop something that he doesn't supposed to have in his diet, I don't want him picking it up. So I don't really care for him being in my kitchen. Okay, so I got that going. So guys, this is going to be something of a quick meal. These are meals that you can make and create on your own. Now, you don't have to have a recipe. You just think of things that you want to think of and you put it together for your family. Whatever is gonna be a benefit to you, it's gonna make it easier for you and your family, you go right ahead and do it. So this is, I don't even know what I'm gonna call this meal. You know I've already added onion and garlic. I added some salsa that I had in my canned salsa. I added me some tomato sauce, homemade tomato sauce that I made myself, and I added a little bit of a marinade that I made um, earlier last week. So it's going to be really good, and I added some spinach just to have some greenery in there. I don't know if I'm going to top it with pasta or am I going to top it with pasta or rice or another bed of uh, spinach or a salad. Who knows? I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but right now it is looking and it is smelling good. So guys, that's what I want to show you. Simple, easy. Take your time. If it's a rainy day or if it's a snowy day, take your time. Relax. Think of some things you want to do. Be creative. You are in charge of your own vehicle. Be creative. Do something that you want to do. And so I'm going to turn this down. And give that some time and I'm going to put a lid on it 
and it's going to do what it's going to do. So guys, if you enjoyed this quick video, like and subscribe. I would love for you to stay in contact with me as I go on my journey of a new, a new homesteader. Guys, I'll talk to you soon. But before I let you go, you got to stay amazing. Bye now.